And we will say that you are good. And all the miracles of God has told us you. Clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, you go. May God uphold me. We our future in the Hallelujah. Because of time, we are just seeing one stanza today. You may have your seat. We are coming live to you from our headquarters here in Entebbe. Those who are watching on Facebook, live, uh, those who are on YouTube, YouTube Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter WhatsApp, WhatsApp, and on UBC TV. UBC so we are studying the book of Revelation chapter by chapter Sula kusula. I believe the churches are soon opening and I believe schools are soon reopening statistics have shown that uh, during the second wave of coronavirus that is from March up to today we have not lost any person Below 19 years of age. Go and, go and check. Uh, go and check the statistics of the Minister of Education, a Minister of Health. Nobody has died before that below the age of 19. That means all schools are safe. Apart from universities. The youngest person who died of corona in Uganda was. 20 years of age. That is a university graduate student. So I believe schools are soon reopening because statistics have shown that coronavirus has not killed anybody below 19. But, but because it is an end time sickness we continue to start churches we continue to close schools actually Nasser's pupils are the ones who never die at all their system is, their immune system is so strong that he cannot even die but they have been locked for two years so this is the end times and I believe we must go together through the book of Revelation now let's go to chapter 1 and verse number 1 I am not going to speak much about chapter 1 because it is self explanatory 
The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass and sent and signified by his angel unto his servant John. So the first chapter of the book of Revelation is talking about the introductory message of the entire book. It explains who is writing it. Why is he writing it? To whom is he writing it? Too. And who is the author, the one holding a pen to write it? So basically, chapter number one is an introduction of the author, the writer, and the revelator. It is the revelation of Jesus Christ. It is the revelation God gave to him. It is the revelation to show his servants things which were going to come so quick it is also a book which was delivered by an angel it is also a book that was authored by the only apostle who never died by martyrdom he was the only person who died a natural death Apostle John is the only person who grew old and died a natural death the rest were murdered by the Roman soldiers and the Roman emperors Simon Peter was murdered. Simon Peter Obamuta. Matthew was flayed. Matthew Bamo. Flaying is to get a knife. And, and, and you begin to do like you are Matthew was flayed. Until they removed the skin. They came to the white meat. They came to the red meat. Until they reached the bones. Then he collapsed and died. He was flayed. Philip was pulled by the truck horse on the tarmac on the on the stone stone road until he died they tied a rope on a horse and it been to pull him on the roads you know that the roman roads were made of of of, of uh, of, of stones. So they pulled him on the rolls of Rome until he died. Every apostle, including Apostle Paul, were all killed by the emperors and by the Roman people. It is only John, the revelator, who grew up to old age and died a natural death. And here is his story. I want you to hear the story of John before you hear what he wrote in the book of Revelation. John was also captured like the other apostles. And so they took him before the Roman Emperor. And the Roman Emperor decided that he should be killed. But because he has lived so long, they had to make sure they give him a killing machine that will kill him so painfully. They chose a method to kill him painfully. So they got those big saucepans you normally see. The Muslims have them where they, where they, they, they cook the rice. Those big ones. They filled it with cooking oil. And they boiled to boiling point. And then they brought this apostle John and they set him in the cooking oil in those big saucepans. And so he was there. 
They wanted him to die a painful death. To their amazement, the guy was merely singing in a cooking oil. The guy was just singing about Jesus. They put in more fire. And the guy was continuing to sing. Some of these things are sounding funny, but they are true. They are true. When we say that Apostle Peter was crucified upside down. It is true. When we say that Matthew was flayed. It is true. When we say that Philip was peeled or pulled on that Roman stone road. It is true. But for John, he was the last disciple. He was put in a hot cooking oil saucepan. And the guy couldn't be cooked. He was uncookable. They did whatever they could do. And he was uncookable. Until the Roman Emperor gave up. And he said, if a quicken God has not killed him, there is nothing that can heal kill him. So what happened? After he was got out of the saucepan, Navalabiriza, and he looked around, he ran away na, na duka, and hid him in the island of Patmos in the in the Mediterranean Sea. I wish I can have that scripture in so if, if, if it is anywhere else. What's that the verse number two say? Who bear the record of the word of God of the testimony of Jesus Christ and all things that saw him? Verse number three. Blessed is he that readeth, they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep the things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Verse number four. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, peace from him, which is, which is was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Verse number five. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Verse number six. And hath made us kings and priests unto God his Father, and to him to be glory dominion forever and ever. Verse number seven. Behold, he cometh quickly with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kings of the earth shall well because of him, even so. Amen. Verse number eight. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning of the beginning, saith the Lord, which is and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Verse number nine. Okay. I, John, Zeyokana, who also am your brother, and the companion in the tribulation, and in the kingdom of Jesus Christ, I was on the island, the isle that is called Patimos, for the word of God, and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. So John ran away to the island of Patimos, in the Mediterranean, after they are cooked him and he was uncookable. He was cooked in the very big saucepan of cooking boiling oil. They, they thought it was pork. Little did they know he was an iron. From there he escaped and ran all the way to an island in the, in the Mediterranean Sea and he hid himself there. And so when he was there, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to him. And he said, please get your pen so quickly and write whatever I'm going to show you. I want you to write a testimony of everything you are about to see. Because blessed is everyone who shall read it. Blessed everyone who shall have it. So the first chapter is about that introduction. Is about the history of John. Is about the author. Is about the one with the revelation. So we are going to hear more on Tuesday. I normally preach.
shall go to the second church of the book of Revelation. Let's give time to give. We give online and we have telephone lines. 0708 0708 send your seed if you have got any pledge please send it and I'm praying Father in the name of Jesus open the windows of heaven for every time press and shake and make it run over to every offering giver and bring harvests to every sower. Lord bless your children. Let them remember the first love where they left it. Let them return and repent to the first love. Because this is what the Spirit is speaking to the churches. Lord keep our people safe from coronavirus from sickness from disease those who are in hospital and those who are in intensive care because of coronavirus Lord heal them set them free Father I pray for every patient of different diseases heal them O Lord I pray for employees and employers revive their ministries revive their businesses because our free sale has closed shop right is going away father protect our businesses protect our income bring restoration to our economy in the name of Jesus father we thank you father we bless you father we honor you for Uganda for Uganda for God and my country in Jesus' name Amen and Amen